And you can order these. I think these are six inches long. You can order these online. And they'll even cut them to length for you, although I used a hacksaw and a grinder to get them to the same length. Um, you can order them online uh, and they'll cut them very close to size. And if they're not exactly right, you can always sand them or grind them to the same exact size. Take the pipes and mark them from the bottom up how far you want the hole. I mark with a pair of veneer calipers. I open it up to approximately how far I want the hole. I put the jaw on the bottom and then I scribe a line where I want the hole to be. Then I simply drill the hole on a drill press now this hole is has clearance for the screw that's going to go through there and in the second tube that's going to go inside of that and a clearance hole also in the next tube that's going to go inside of that and the last tube that goes in the center I actually drill and tap a uh, thread for this screw and I shall show you the assembly of that in just a minute. It's important that you measure the outside diameter and take an average. Go all the way around and measure it a few times. The outside diameter of each pipe, write that number down for each pipe, and then the inside diameter for each pipe. Forget the last pipe, but inside diameter. Then you're going to take the difference between the two, find out the spacing that you need between each pipe so that you know what size to make your spacers. I make my spacers out of uh, high density polyethylene, which has a working temperature up to almost 200 degrees, but the important thing is that it doesn't have a forming temperature until 285 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it's not going to melt or, or um, bend to the point that they're going to fall out. So I take the cutting board on my um, compound miter saw and I just slice it. See, I mark it and I slice it so that it's a little bit bigger than the spacing that I want. Utility knife and just cut it into small pieces. I'll show you the pieces. So I cut it into pieces. I cut this into small pieces like this. Then I'll just whoop, then I'll just sand these on some sandpaper, measure them with my veneers until I get them to the proper thickness. The thickness that I want is going to be slightly larger than the space between my tubes. That way I can force them in or press them in between the tubes and the tubes will stay in position. Since this is just plastic, whatever uh, is too big to fit between the tubes, it will just shear off. The next thing I'll do is I need to make a spacer to go between where the holes are so that when it's attached, with the screw, the screw is going to pull this tightly up against the spacer between this and this, and pull this up against the spacer between this and this, and pull this up against the spacer between this and this, and pull this up against the spacer between this and the housing. So I take these nylon spacers that you can find at Home Depot. I'll um, mark this with magic marker, the magic marker scribe the line with my veneers, cut it with a utility knife, and then sand each piece until they're the proper thickness. Each one's going to be different because each pipe is slightly different in size. And I'll show you the assembly of that. This is the housing that I'll be putting the uh, cell into. And this is actually going to be uh, ground out here. It's going to be negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative. But I need a spacer to go in the bottom of this. 
so that it keeps these off of the bottom but still allows water to flow underneath of the cell and convect around so again I just take a piece of my uh, cutting board and I cut it so that it fits in here around the edges a little bit and I'll put some um, RTV sealing on here since it's high heat and we'll throw it in there and seal it right to the middle then we need to know the distance from that spacer to where these holes are so that I can put a hole in this housing which I've already done and it will match up with the other holes so I took the distance from here added the thickness of my spacer and then added the distance from here to the center line of this hole described the line drilled the hole and now when I put my cell into there into the housing it matches up the next step would be to thoroughly sand with well actually with emery cloth sand the outside of each one of these pipes and the inside as best you can sanding the pipes instead of having a shiny pipe gives you more surface area for the uh, reaction to take place 